Hi all, Ashley here. Hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on today and to share some crafty things I've been collecting for the last little bit. Um, I'll start with some, a couple quick things from Allie. I got some confetti pieces. And um, also I did just recently get a puppy, so, and his name is Bear. So I got some little bear charms. And uh, this is a little bear holding a strawberry. I need some little paws. So excited to play with those. And then the other thing I purchased a ton of is uh, Rosie's Ephemera. Um, I've never actually bought anything from this store before, but I thought, I don't know, I just, I've wanted to for a while and I finally purchased a few different collections. This is one of a kind. I did repackage some of these because um, some of the Ephemera doesn't come in the resealable kind of bags. So I just, yeah, I just changed up the packaging, but this is the one of a kind collection. I absolutely think it's so cute with the little fox and the house and the color scheme, um, the little carousel. So that's one of a kind. And then let me try to pull up all of the, so here's the puffy stickers from that collection and then some chipboard. Um, these are going to be in kind of all different order in terms of collections, but this pack is the unconditional pack. Again, it's kind of cut off because I, I did that. I, I repackaged it, but, um, but just easier for me to have things in resealable bags. But anyways, it has a lot of like little dogs and then just other cute little ephemera pieces that are pretty universal and easy to use. Um, this is us statement puffy stickers, unconditional sticker sheets, um, simply charming ephemera, which has like a lot of like little fairy tale type of pieces, which I thought were super cute. I also think um, it's not going to be too hard to mix and match these collections because they are really like similar color scheme. So, yeah, I look at the little mouse, little bunny, like it's just, it's really, really cute. So here's some Simply Charming chipboard pieces and then um, the fray stickers, little amber sand stickers, more of these um, little phrases and then one of a kind puffy stickers. More one of a kind phrases. And then I got some different frames. So this is just like a mix of circles and squares, kind of standard shapes. This one I think is really cute. Um, the little embroidery hoop frames. Another set here, more chipboard frames. Then a flower pack from Unconditional. Some hearts. Some of these little dot things. <laughs> um, some more chipboard. These kind of like very universal again. Um, little embellishments. And then some more puffy stickers and then some more florals. So this floral pack is really, really pretty. So a bunch of this was on sale a little while ago and I just ended up picking up everything that was on sale. Um, and I'm really excited to play with that. And yeah, so that's everything from Rosie's. Then I did get some stuff from American Crafts too, not too much um, new stuff, but I did get a few packs of this ephemera, ephemera pack, Paper Roses, Paper Roses Studio. Um, look at how cute. They just, because it's bear themed, <laughs> I just loved it. Um, that'd be really cute for Valentine's crafting, but also just maybe regular puppy crafting too. I've had like already a thousand pictures of them. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So got those. Um, and then the other one I picked up a few things from was this book lover collection. I don't know if people have seen this. It's 
there's not that many ephemera pieces in here it's pretty small little pack but i just love the theme so much um because i am a big reader and so or i should say a big reader i'm a really slow reader but i do like to read <laughs> um so yeah so picked up the that ephemera pack and then picked up some of the i picked up all the Actually, I'm not sure I got every single page, but I picked up a bunch of the papers. Here is one. And then this is the back. Um, so I can cut this one out for a little, if I'm, for more ephemera pieces. And then have this little like tear apart sheet too. This is the back. Pretty simple back. Um, and then a few sheets of this guy, a little owl, books, and so I don't know if I'm going to do some reading journaling or if, what exactly I'm going to do with these pages yet, but yeah, I just, like I said, I just really like this theme. I haven't seen anything else quite like this before, so, um, wanted to pick up those pages. Then... Um, I kind of got a bunch of Maggie Home stuff. I got these uh, paper clips from Market Square. I got two of these packs. I already used up this one. I absolutely love these. It's very easy to use um, on journals and things. It's like a nice little dimension piece. And then picked up some of these hearts. And then... Uh, and then I got a ton of Maggie Holmes paper. I'm not going to flip through every single one because I got a lot. But, um, yeah, I got a bunch from, uh, not too much from Market Square, actually. I think it's just, like, these couple pages. Got a bunch of Paracel paper. And then, let's see, how many? Let me just kind of, like, spread this out a little bit so you can kind of get a sense here, but this is all Maggie Holmes paper. I'm sure everybody's already seen it. None of this is new. Um, I guess the Woodland Grove one is slightly new, but not really that new. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, ton of Maggie Holmes paper, um, all from American Crafts. So, or no, sorry, all from scrapbook.com. So yeah, here, I'll just look through like this. There we go. Yeah, I got a bunch of this paper, which is really pretty, and I have been doing a, a bit of crafting. I just haven't been posting, um, but yeah, I've been making quite a few Maggie Holmes projects recently, and so I will, um, I think I'll take some pics and then share those on Instagram soon. And then the last thing I wanted to share was a box from your creative studio um, and this is like a bunch of little journaling embellishments papers stamps things like that so let me just kind of walk through there's some there's some sticker sheets some papers some kind of sticker strips here got some sticky notes And actually like this kind of blue tone themed would pair well with the parasol collection so i'm trying to kind of mix and match here a little bit black and white um like plant plant um pages yeah, let me flip through real quick so very cute very cute little add-ons and then some washi and a couple of stamps. So we have this floral piece, it's kind of hard to see. Mm. That's the same. Is that the same one? Yeah. But it's kind of it's kind of hard to see, but this little flower with envelope stamp and then this longer floral. Camp. Um, then have some uh, little circles, circle stickers, and a 
some tabs. So that's everything from Your Creative Studio. Oh, and then actually last but not least, this thing is so cute. It also came with a little like a uh, little suitcase thing. <laughs> Tiny little mini suitcase thing. It's so cute. So yeah, that's everything from Your Creative Studio. I and mean, that is everything for this haul. Oh, there's actually one more thing. This is, you can't really see till this post-it. Um, this washi. Oh, here. Maybe you can kind of see. But this is from the Book Lovers Collection. Yeah, I don't think you can really see it. But it's uh, basically just a washi of a bunch of little books. We'll have to see how that looks on white cardstock or something. But but that is everything. Um, and like I said, we'll try to share some of my the projects I've been making recently. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.